Welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. I am not feeling well. I wasn't feeling well last night, so I am home today. I've got some kind of a stomach bug, but um, I just saw this on Pinterest and it was so easy. And if you guys enjoy um, decorating your packages after you wrap them, I thought I'd show this to you and show you how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to make these cute little trees out um, just to decorate your packages out of some... Um, leftover scraps from your wrapping paper. Um, here's another one I did. This one's still drying so you can see the glue, but that will dry clear. Um, this is just out of the clear paper here and just made a little tree. And then, but I like this one better with the little sparkles added. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really quickly. Okay, friends, the first thing that you are going to need is some glue. I have some craft glue. I just put it here for ease of use. Um, you're gonna need a scrap of paper. I did find that the shinier, thicker paper works better. I tried two of them before um, doing this and then scissors and then to put the glue on because my thing is stopped up. I just am using this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your paper, rectangle or whatever, and you're going to fold it into the corner. Okay. This one's pretty square. If you have a, tr sometimes you might have more of a um, like rectangle and you have to cut the bottom piece art out. This one does have a little bit right here on the edge, so we are gonna cut that off. Just to make sure that it's even. Uh, this paper makes a mess. Okay, next up, you are going to, hold on. Did I fold this right now? I'm wondering if I did it wrong, hold on. This way. Okay. It wasn't exactly perfectly even, but anyway, you're gonna make a triangle. Now we should be perfectly even. And you have here. Now you're going to cut, but up to the seam. Hold on. All right, I had to put it on airplane mode. Okay, now you're going to cut, but only up and you're gonna leave a little space in where the seams are, so you don't wanna cut across the seam, okay? Like this. Once you do that, you're gonna open it up. And you're going to put a line of glue down the middle. I think I did it wrong. Why is this? Well, we'll try it. I probably did it wrong already. If I did, I'll figure it out and do it again. You kind of do need a lot of glue for it, and you're going to leave the top piece, but you're going to start doing, you're just taking the pieces and you're gluing them like this, and you do have to hold them for a little bit on the glue. See, that one came off. It's a bit of a messy job, I found. Your hands do get a little gluey. I think I might have folded this one wrong. We're gonna find out in a minute. Maybe not. And you just keep gluing these guys in. 
you can see okay what I'm doing. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit more. More blue. Oops. Yeah, I think I cut this in the wrong shape. You wanna start with a rectangle and do this, not a square. So because mine's not gonna get wider at the bottom, what I'm gonna do is cut these guys off. Because your, your guy's supposed to be wider at the bottom, but he's not gonna be if you cut it into square like I did. You need to cut it into um, a rectangle and then do it. So I'm gonna do another one. And then, what I can do is put a little bit more glue up here, hold this guy up, and that gives us the trunk. Okay, so here's what we have so far, our little Christmas tree. Now this piece, um, I don't know what you can do with that. I think I just cut, I'm trying to think what I did. You can cut just a triangle like this, and then if you have a little star sticker, you could put your little star sticker up here, and then you have your ornament. So let's do one more. Let me get cleaned up, get some glue, throw my mess out, and we'll do one more, and I'll do the rectangle one so you can see the difference. All right, let's try this again. So we're gonna fold this over. This will be a smaller one because I've got a couple small packages. So I cut it into, as you can see, I cut it into a rectangle and then I fold the side, side to side, just so the corner up and then you're cutting this part off. So this will be a smaller one. Okay. And you're gonna do the same thing. Open it up. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of glue down here. And let's begin. It's a little bit more difficult with a smaller one. For sure.
once it dries, it's good and it'll stay. But you might have to hold it a little bit or just add extra glue. All right, and that's still coming out the same, so I'm gonna cut the bottom off. Now, what did I do with my scissors right here? stem. Oops. Fold that up like that. Kind of seals the bottom there too. And then let me lift it first. Okay, look how cute that is. All right, so then you can put your little star on the top, but there is the little one. How cute is that? So, so sweet. All right, and then you just tape them to your packages. So after they dry, a little bit of tape down. And you're done. Now, if I find a little star sticker, I'm gonna put it up here. I just don't have one right now. For the bigger ones, I'm gonna put two pieces of tape. But these are just a fun little way to accent your packages under the tree. So cute. Hey guys, so it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, I am having tea. Big surprise. It's either tea, coffee in the morning, or hot cocoa. <laughs> um, I do have some new um, Hershey, hot cocoa Hershey, Hershey Kisses that I wanna try. So I'll try one of those with you guys and let you know what I think of them. Um, my skin is on fire. I thought it was something that upset my eyes um, because, you know, my eyes got real bad. But it's something else because all down here, my entire nose, all down here, my skin is like raw. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, and I have a stomach bug. Um, I don't think either of those things are related, but um, been in the bathroom a lot today, which really doesn't surprise me because everybody's been sick around me for like two weeks and I haven't gotten sick. And now right before Christmas, here we go. Lots of packages came in today, I'll show you. So I haven't even opened them all yet, <laughs> but they're all Christmas gifts. And uh, I have a candle lit here um, and I am just taking it easy because I'm sick. And you know, I've been trying to do the whole self care thing and take care of myself and um, I still got sick. <laughs> anyway, what can you do, right? So anyway, I'm just going to have my tea. Robert should be home maybe in about an hour or so. He had one more like plumbing job to finish up. And I might, I'm watching a, a documentary really interesting about three women who are going to jail. And this is their last 24 hours before they go to jail. And it is making me tear up. I guess it, I don't know what their crimes are, but at the end of the show they reveal what they did to cause them to go to jail I know one of them already said that she was a drug addict and her addiction caused her to commit a crime um but I don't know of the other ones but the sad thing is one of them has like a brand new baby who's just months old she was told she was never going to be able to have kids uh, she committed her crime, they said, four years ago. She has this beautiful little baby girl, and she is now committed to jail for five years. And the other one has an eight-year-old whose father committed suicide when she was only five. And this little eight-year-old doesn't really understand why her mom has to go. Now, her mom only has to go for a year. With good behavior, she could be out quite a bit earlier, I would assume. But um, just really sad because you see these people, and they look like they're normal good people have like make I don't know what they what their crimes were if I finish it I will come back in this vlog and let you know um but they love their kids they keep a good home they have good relationships they they made mistakes um just 
a stupid mistake. Um, the addiction is one, but I don't think the other girl was on anything. I think she connected with the wrong person and went down a wrong path because of somebody else led somebody else she thought she loved led her down a dangerous path and she got caught. Uh, but I don't know what she did. And then they haven't told showed us a third person yet. So um, just really sad. It's like making me tear up more for the kids that are being left behind and. Um, you know, the anguish that the moms are going through having to leave their babies behind, um, especially the one that's leaving her little precious baby who is just, you know, by the time she gets out, the child's going to be five. She's going to miss all of that. And her child's not going to even know her, you know, she's going to know her grandma and grandpa as mom and dad, just really sad. So anyway, that's what I'm watching. Um, it's a good reminder to, uh, go the straight and narrow path. And, you know, because these are people that, we're normal, good people that made mistakes, you know, and it's unfortunate, but they do have to pay the price for that. And their children and their family do as well. Um, I always tell my children, like, be careful who you associate with, because if you associate with bad people, that's as high as you're going to get in life, right? If you're going to get as high as those people get, if you associate with people smarter than you, um, more driven than you, more, you know, th- then you'll aspire to be higher and better at that level. So you should always make sure that the friends you surround yourself with are good friends. That's something that I've done. Uh, my daughter has done. I will say my, my boys, not so much. They have definitely been down a path with like some friends that weren't so great or were making bad decisions. Um, I think both of my boys have for the most part gotten away from those friends, although there's a few still around and I'm hoping and praying that they don't influence my boys in a negative way because my boys have an awful lot to live for with their children and their and their fiancés. So anyway, all right, well I'm gonna get off my soapbox, but that's what I'm doing. I'm watching I'm watching a show. Um I don't even know what it's called. I'll put it on the screen here if I can think of it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go finish watching it. Okay, I have you kind of prepped up. Um, these are the, I opened them funny, but they're um, Hot Cocoa Hershey's Kisses. I don't know if you're going to like them or not. I also, it says milk chocolatey with marshmallow flavored, flavored cream, cream. I bet you can throw these in hot chocolate as well. They'd probably be good. But let's take a bite. This chocolate. I mean, it's good. Mm. These are a win. Mm. I might have a couple. Robert just went up to bed. I'm busy eating bonbons. I don't know what this is. It's a orange cream chocolate. I've got two of them. I also got my buddy here. She's always sitting right here every night. And did I got a buddy over there? Chopper. Did somebody take your seat? Did Nitro steal your seat, dude? Because you got up trying to counter surf. Mm-hmm. Oh, bad dogs. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little, um, I don't know, little DIY. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get my Advents done. We're getting late. Oh my God, I can't believe we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Well, for me, it's Monday. Um, you guys will see this on Tuesday, but we are exactly a week. Next Monday is Christmas, so. All right, so where are we? Day, was it 19 that we're on? I think, I think, I think. Yeah, day 19, we have a new little bucket. <laughs> All right, so right here. It's stuck in there. The big one. I think it's a... Ooh, okay, obsidian? Yeah, black obsidian, the raw one. Um, stabilization practices helps to promote a sense of grounding while fostering introspective. So this is a raw piece. So you can see it's shiny on the inside. If you saw this out on the ground, you may not realize unless you saw the shiny part that you had obsidian, you might just think, Oh, it's just a, you know, it's just a gray rock, but 
if it was cut open at all and you'd see the dark inside. This also wards off negative energy. It's a really great one to take with you and just keep a piece of obsidian with you. It keeps evil away and negativity away. So keep it in your pocket. All right, let's do our little nativity. Day 19, Ooh, right here, right here. Bananas. What do we have, monkeys? Maybe this is Mary and Joseph's breakfast. Bananas. I don't know. I mean, they sure are stinking cute, though, aren't they? Little bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -A. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's go do our... Well, let's put these over. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but we'll put them over there, and then we'll do our seed calendar next. All right, let's put our little nanners in here. We'll just kind of set them near... Here, because you know, in case the wise men are hungry or Mary's hungry, they got a little snacky poo. All right, let's get our seeds. I think this is the last one. Oh, you can't even see me. I'm right here, but it's the last one on here. I'm too drawn in. I'm in too up close, I mean. Anyway, see where it's ringing? Where the little <laughs> stocking's going? That's where this one was. So let's see what we got. 19. If it's something I don't think is like people know about, then I'll I'll put a picture of it up. Cosmos, I love me some Cosmos. Beautiful. They come in all different colors. Doesn't say what colors these are, so that'll be fun. I will put a picture up just in case you don't know what a Cosmo is, but they're one of very 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 easy ones to grow. Okay, friends, on day nineteen of our self care advent calendar, this one says practicing gratitude for your body. Thank your body for everything it allows you to do. Your body is an incredibly complex and wonderful machine that allows you to experience the world around you. From walking and running to laughing, hugging your loved ones, your body is a vehicle that allows you to enjoy life to the fullest. Therefore, it is important that you give it the recognition it deserves. Thank your body for every breath, every heartbeat, and every muscle that allows you to move and perform your daily activities. Learn to love and accept your body as it is with all its imperfections and strengths. Remember that your body is unique and special and deserves to be treated with care and respect. Oh, I lost my spot. Okay, practice healthy habits such as a balanced diet, regular exercise, and adequate rest to keep your body in optimal condition. Be grateful every day for everything your body allows you to do and you will see how your life is filled with energy and happiness. I think that is a wonderful, wonderful message. I think that's a really, really good message for all of us to do. Um, fabulous. Speaking of taking care of your body, um, also, we're going to talk a little bit more about how to raise your vibrational energies. We were continuing on with that. Uh, there was a few more ways, uh, five more ways um, to raise your energy. If you haven't seen the other ones, go back and watch the vlogs from the previous days and they will be in there at the end. So this next one's interesting. Eat raw food. Raw organically grown foods contain their own vital energy. And by eating these foods frequently, you can help boost your vibration. Look for in-season local options at farmer's markets. So carrots and tomatoes and watermelons and corn and things like that, um, which is also great in the um, summertime if you have a garden uh, because you're in peppers and eggplants, you're eating more of the raw organic food that you grew yourself and the energy that that brings because so much of our food, including apples in the grocery store, um, are filled with things. Did you know they put Botox in the skin of the apples to keep them red and shiny? And even the, uh, um, the, the growers did not want to do this, but it was important that they looked presentable when, when they're on um, the shelves in the store. And uh, that was so disturbing for me because I work in the food industry as a recruiter. And so I learned a lot from the people that um, I talk with that sell um, into those, you know, sell to those, those companies and their customers and stuff. So uh, yeah, eat raw as much as you can. All right, exercise. Moving your body helps to increase the flow of energy and release feel-good brain chemicals, which also helps boost your vibration. Whether it's a sport you've been playing for years or a brand new hobby, get your body moving and start enjoying the physical and spiritual benefits of exercise. I think my body might fall apart if I exercise at this point. Everything's breaking and falling apart. 
Um, I just I have a bad hip, you know, like I'm just having some issues. So, um, but I definitely need to do some kind of exercise. I need to start moving more for sure, and just like tone up and strengthen my. I have like no strength. I'm like so weak. So, get out in nature. I would say I do this. Um, although I haven't recently, <laughs> this couple weeks or so, um, spending time outside is a natural way to heal your body and mind. It can also boost your energy levels and your vibration, and it will help you feel calm and peaceful. If you're in a city or busy area, find a green oasis in a park or co courtyard. I mean, I guess Robert and I just went to the um, light thing um, on Thursday night, so that was kind of cool. We got outside and, and saw nature and um, the gardens and how beautiful the, they were with all the lights on them that's getting in nature meditate meditation calms your mind and expands your consciousness which naturally lifts your vibration you'll find several medication of uh, medication <laughs> meditation exercises in this book to use as a starting point use positive thinking as we'll discuss throughout the book focusing on positive thoughts is one of the best ways to raise your energy levels and your vibration essentially anything that makes you feel good and will help you raise your vibration um, will help you raise your vibration so the more you can focus on feeling good the stronger and more powerful your vibration is going to come all right is going to going to become anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that i think that was really interesting um and uh kind of fun to to think some fun things to think about and i am going to put some of those into practice starting tomorrow so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and a good evening i'm going to bed so you'll be seeing this in the morning um some of you in the evening and i hope you all tune in for tomorrow i will see you in vlogmas day 20 bye